Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Kitbadger.com here to bring you another gear view and today we're talking about this which is the Spikes Tactical Tungsten Buffer. Taking a step back, what is a buffer, what does it do? So your buffer sits inside a buffer spring and this buffer spring with the buffer sits inside the buffer tube right here in your AR style rifle. It basically allows your rifle to function. So when we fire this, bolt carrier group ends up moving back, makes contact with the face of the buffer, pushes the buffer back, compressing the buffer spring. Eventually it goes all the way back, bottoms out on this guy right here, at which point can't go any further, pushes itself back forward. Comes back forward all the way up to right here, pushing your bolt carrier group all the way forward, stripping around, putting it back into battery. So this basically just forms a buffer between your bolt carrier group and the spring. So what makes this Spikes Tactical Tungsten Buffer differ from your standard mil spec buffer? Ultimately, what's inside? If we take a look inside of our mil spec buffer, what we have are a series of metal weights. What it does is give mass to our buffer so that it isn't too light to where when this weapon fires, it just slams back in the buffer tube and ideally it doesn't have too much mass so that it doesn't travel far enough back in order for our weapon to cycle properly. And that brings us to the difference between our Spikes Tactical Tungsten Buffer versus our Mil Spec Buffer. Mil Spec Buffer, we have those solid weights, whereas in this, we have this kind of like granulated powdered tungsten. How does that play out? Think about a bag of sand versus a rock. Drop a bag of sand, hits the ground, doesn't move. Drop a rock, solid object, bounces, rolls, moves around. Same thing's going on inside that buffer tube. With our mil spec buffer, fire our rifle, it's pushing this back, compressing the spring, bottoms out, pushes back forward. During all that movement, we have the movement inside this buffer. All those little metal weights, solid weights, bouncing around inside here. Conversely, with this, that granulated tungsten, this moves back, moves forward. What we don't have is all these solid weights bouncing around. How does this translate? Ultimately, your rifle ends up shooting smoother, functioning smoother, reduces felt recoil. Will this make you a ninja? Probably not. If you shoot a lot though, you will probably notice appreciable difference with this. Just smoothing out that entire cycle of operations. These are made out of a piece of billet aluminum, machined out, anodized black, mil spec bumper on there, and like your mil spec buffers, they come in different weights. Lightest one being their T1, three ounces, middle of the road right here, the T2, four ounces, and then the heaviest, T3, five and a half ounces. Find them a bunch of different places, ranging anywhere from about 30 bucks to 40 or so, depending on the weight of the buffer. Get them directly through Spikes Tactical, as well as Primary Arms, Bravo Company, a number of other places. If you pick one up, let me know how it does for you. I've used them for years. Occasionally I'll have rifles that don't have them in, and every time I throw one in, I immediately notice a appreciable difference. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.